Hey guys, so this week's tutorial is going to be sponsored by YG Wigs. They did send me a 613 blueless lace front. And the first thing you do get this crazy cute little box. It's blue and inside of it you do get a duffel bag or a little backpack and some hair clips to tie your hair up. An elastic band, I do believe there was a comb in there and a wig cap. So the wig that they sent me was like a yellowish color. It wasn't like a color I would really like. Plus there wasn't any dark roots. But it is lace frontal and there are three combs in the front and one in the back along with adjustable strap. So you guys, the first thing I try to do is tone the hair and I did put it in a sink of water with purple shampoo and it actually kind of like blotched it. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and use this well toner. The color that I'm using is the T18 which is the lightest blonde. Along with that I'm going to use Tony Developer and I do think I have three bottles in total which are one bottle and two servings or whatever you want to call it to the developer so you know you just pour the developer in twice after you empty each bottle and that's what I did here in each one each box is T18 you just want to make sure that you mix it really well it'll start turning colors after a while but I wanted to make sure that I had enough just so that way I hate to run out of anything while I am trying to fix an issue. So you do see it's kind of like I got violet colors on it. I did try to wash some of it out with Dawn dish detergent, two fresh lemons, and some clarifying shampoo. And it did take out some of it, but I decided I would just go ahead and just tone it. And I'm hoping that it'll give it like a very light blonde color. At least that's what I hope for. So you just want to make sure that you saturate the entire wig and you don't miss any spots by going in between the hairs. That is the reason why I did purchase three bottles. I left it on for like 35 minutes and then I went ahead and rinsed it out really well. So for one, when they sent me the wig, it was more or less like a yellowish Goldilocks kind of yellow and I'm really not into that color so I did do a little bit of changes to it um, some of it was by accident but it actually did come out really good um, I did show you guys the steps that I did take except for the very beginning which I will explain to you because you probably really don't want to do it anyway because it's just really not like the best thing in the world to do unless you want that look so I will tell you about it so for one your package or your wig does come in this sturdy blue box which says YG wigs on it and I will post the information below for you guys each wig does come in a plastic bag and I do have a 20 inch lace front and it's straight it's 150 percent density and the color is 613 also besides that your wig does come in like a little type of backpack which has their store name on it it also comes with a wig cap some elastic and two of these clips which were purple and blue and they're downstairs because I did use them for wig making. So when I first got the wig, it was like this goldy yellow color. It was not appealing to me. I was not happy with it. So the first thing I did was I washed the wig and I used this generic brand of shimmer lights from Sally's Beauty, which is the purple shampoo. To my surprise, it turned the wig like this purplish violet color and there were kind of like patches of it all over so I was freaking out I wouldn't it did not come out so I had to use two fresh lemons some dawn dish detergent and some clarifying shampoo just to get the purple out most of it came out but some of it did not the next thing that I went and did is I did purchase a or two or three boxes of the Willow toner in T18 which is the pale ash blonde or the lightest ash blonde okay I did purchase that and I did use a 20 developer with it and it turned the wig like this grayish color I then thought okay it looks really good I like this color but I was not too happy with just all gray roots which I will show you a picture of I did post a picture on Instagram asking everyone what color should I make the roots because a girl likes dark roots but I didn't want the roots to be like black or off black I just really wanted or dark dark brown I just really wanted to, to get everybody's opinion so I did get um, quite a few suggestions the one that I really liked the most was the 7B which was a Wella Charmer um, color but I decided to go with the clear up professional in 7NN which is more or less like a gray booster and it gave it like this very pretty like rustic reddish color brown the wig turned out to look like this 
Now, like I said, it's a lace frontal, so I did darken the roots and all through the back and like the first two tracks of the actual wig. The one thing that I do like about this wig is I have gotten like quite a few 613 frontals and a couple of wigs and the lace always seems to like give me the most issues because it seems like it never blends good for women of color but YG wigs lace is like the perfect light brown so you're definitely going to be able to rock this wig or rock their frontals or wigs of that color because their lace is perfect i did um pre-pluck some of it of course i didn't pre-bleach it because you don't have to because you know it was already a 613 it does come with the three combs right here and then there is the comb and adjustable strap in the nape. So you guys, I've been waiting to try this wig out for a minute now. So we're just going to jump right into this and we're going to see how it looks. I know that it's late, but baby, I'm up and I'm thinking about you, about you. Get you on the line and see if it's okay if I could come through, could come through. Feeling kind of lonely, I think I'm needing a dose of my blood, of my blood. Just let the studio, I can be there in 10 minutes. Is that cool? Is that cool? Been craving your love and your body on mine. Hope I ain't break you, but I need your time. Now I'm headed to the party 
gotta see you, to see you. I only round the corner, boy, you know it ain't no problem, cause I need you. Wanna look into your face and tell you how much that I love you, you know it's true. We can roll up blind or maybe we can just lay up what you wanna do. But wanna see your face Now it's two in the morning But what can I say I know that it's late, but I want to be together. We can just lay up, or we can make love. Sleeping by your side. She is looking. I'm loving it. I think the color came out so nice for it to be like a mistake. Every time I make a mistake, it always comes out good. But then when I, I try to achieve something, it just comes out like crap. Um, I am so happy about this lace because it's perfect. Like, it just blends right in, honey. So I didn't tweeze it, but... It came, it looks good for me not to have tweezers. It, it looks good for a pre-plugged hairline. I'm like so impressed with this lace. Like it's so blendable, honey. The 150 density is great. I love the way it just lays. It's really like a nice unit. I love the lace because it's just perfect for women of color. And that's what I'm impressed about because normally when you have like a 613, you definitely have to doctor up the lace. So I'm happy that I didn't have to do anything. So you'll definitely have to check out YGWigs.com. I will post all of the information below for you guys. Let me know what you're thinking of this unit. Guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. All of the information will be in the description box below. You can catch me on Instagram and Facebook sometimes. But for the most part, I love you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. And I will see you guys on the other side. Uh, uh, never leave my body alone.